The Vibrac Bearing Inspector Model 3100. The bearing inspector is for testing anti-friction or low-friction precision bearings. It measures the amount of friction as the system rotates the bearing, the outer race or the inner race. As it rotates, a very sensitive uh, torque transducer, which is located underneath the cover here, is going to measure the amount of resistive friction as the spindle and the drive motor down here rotates the inner race of the bearing. The outer race will have a 400 gram load placed on it. The outer race and the, and the weight will be connected to the transducer. The motor, the drive motor, and the spindle will be connected to the inner race of the transducer. By connecting the load weight to the transducer, we are then in a position where we can begin using the motor, rotating the inner race of the transducer. The frictional drag will then cause the outer race of the, trans of the bearing to rotate the weight which is connected to the transducer. So the spindle, which is driven by a motor, will rotate the inner race of the bearing, the load weight sits on the outer race of the bearing, and it's connected through this coupling to the transducer. This is a system, a test that we just ran. It takes three or four minutes to run a test, so we'll just show you the results of the last run. The system rotates clockwise for 400 degrees. There's 20 degrees of pre-test run, 360 degrees of test run, and 20 degrees of post-test run. The same thing occurs on the next curve, which is in the counterclockwise direction. In the counterclockwise direction, it is then graphed in reverse with 20 degrees of pre-test run, 360 degrees of test run, and then 20 degrees of post-test run. A total of 400 degrees in the clockwise direction, 400 degrees in the counterclockwise direction. As you can see with the 20 degrees removed, we have the readings for 360 degrees starting from zero, and the readings from this direction run back 360 degrees starting from zero at this point. Some things that we notice in the results is a typical contamination type result. The contamination result shows some issues when we were going in 360 degrees. At about 82 degrees there was some friction both in the clockwise and then in the return. You can see the contamination results which showed in both the clockwise and the counterclockwise direction. These are typical of results for contamination. Other types of bearing failures that can be seen in the graphs include retainer ring issues, uh, burrs, or uh, manufacturer uh, flaws in the race, um, retainer ring hang up, hang up uh, and, uh, and several other types of bearing failures. Um, we sell these systems and manufacture them for companies like NASA, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, manufacturers like Timken, SKF, uh, Barden or Scheffler, uh, and they uh, do these slow speed tests, rotating at one RPM, for the resolution to see what kinds of issues there might be with a bearing before it's installed in a critical system or a high sensitivity rotational application.